So I just turned on the loop. Um, you can kind of hear the pump going and the liquid flowing through. You're going to see a lot of air bubbles in the reservoir. That's okay. Um, that's just the pump trying to get. Um, it's just flowing. That's going to happen because you didn't get. It's going to be impossible to get all the air bubbles out just by filling it up. Um, now we're going to just let it run. Um, you going to see any um, leaks in this. And then um, after a little while, I'm not sure, but you're going to see a lot of air bubbles forming up along inside the tubes. So I'm going to kind of maybe later on try to get those out just by flicking the tubing just to kind of get the bubbles moving again but uh so yeah that's what it looks like so far hopefully everything goes well you can really hear yeah you can't really hear much except when liquid just air bubbles some um, so yeah that's reservoir mod you have your short it out green to the black then just get your um, peripheral cable the Molex warp in then just plug in your little cable to the pump let this run so yeah you can see all the not sure if you can or not all the air bubbles in there so we'll let this run for a little bit and then next put it in the system if everything's right. Hey guys, this is Teo Triple X Racer with the final video of this tutorial. I have completed putting in the reservoir and the radiator onto into the system. Um, you can't really see it that well, sorry for lack of lighting, but yeah, that sound you hear is the Scythe Ultra Case. I wouldn't, hopefully this gives you guys a, a better idea of how loud it is. I'll kind of let it sit here for a second. You can probably hear that quite well. Um, so yeah, here's what it looks like. Um, I accidentally kind of filled it up too much before. You don't want to put it too much in there, I was told. Um, it just adds extra liquid than what you actually need but as you can tell maybe not but, um, that I was I also have the top fill port off for right now to let kind of the system air out and bleed um, so any excess air bubbles will be able to escape here let me get the side panel off Sorry, I'm just trying not to spill the reservoir since the cap is off right now. Okay. There it is. There's the system in the reservoir. There's the pump in there. Sight the ultra case. And then down below. Yeah, you can't see it that well, but. And then I have the Cooler Master R4 in the back. But yeah, that's how everything is so far. Um, I let the, like I said, let the leak test for six hours about, just to get an idea of any leaks. Um, and so far, as far as temperature wise, I kind of disappointed. I didn't really see any temperature drops. Uh, maybe about one or two Celsius after doing this all. Um, maybe just because the lack of airflow might have in it. But uh, I'm going to try out different um, setups, layouts. I'm going to try a intake of air next. See if that will increase temperatures. I'm sure it will. Then I'm going to do a um, 
to change the loop setup from a reservoir radiator from radiator to pump then back to the reservoir I'm going to do next a reservoir to pump to pump to radiator so it will be more like liquid from here will go directly to the pump cool off from the radiator then go into the reservoir then back to the pump again just to kind of see temperatures difference um, and do an intake and exhaust in that setup and then whatever temperatures are best I'll leave it that way um, but yeah I also noticed that the fan here will not fit because of how uh, thick this radiator and fan and shrouds are together so I might try and kind of cut off two corners of this fan here of the scythe and then corner on the fan right here just so I can get some cooling to the graphics card there but uh, yeah so far it's running well um, I'm gonna see and maybe after the break-in test I'm using Arctic Silver 5 there's supposed to be like a break-in period of like 200 hours or so so after that I'll see if the temperatures drop anymore and then I'll kind of see how everything goes but that's the tutorial of how to mod your Corsair H50 um, of course everyone is going to get different results as far as temperatures yours might not drop significantly significantly or uh, they they might stay the same or get cooler but uh, it just depends on your case and the airflow that you have set up so just keep that in mind that everyone's gonna have different results so um, I appreciate you guys for watching this I hope this helps anyone out um, again if you have any questions feel free to ask um, also there are there's a great form on overclock.net under water cooling under water cooling section there's a uh, Corsair H50 club that I'm in TL Triple XS Racer and there's a bunch of other guys um, they are very helpful they answer any questions so if you can go there check it out um, or be willing to help you out so yeah Thanks for watching, everyone.